Everyone, I'm James Jump, otherwise known as Tape Deck Reviews. Welcome back to the Pepsi Podcast. Um, wrong podcast. Welcome back to Lockdown Sessions with James Jump. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, um, Toby Chester, the TikTok sensation, Discord sensation, probably you've heard of him. Um, so Toby, um, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello. Uh, yes, um, I'm Toby. Um, you may know me, you may not. Um, I have over 50,000 followers on TikTok. Um, I co-own a few very large Discord servers. Um, that's pretty much my life. To, for, so we have a mediator here today. We have a previous guest, Connor Bailey, coming on. He just wants to sit here and hear this conversation. Hi. I'm so, just here. He's, yeah, he's, he's just vibing. So, Toby, um, through lockdown, um, you really have focused on Discord. Apparently, you, you've built a Discord empire. And I know for a fact you earn a little bit from that. Do you want to run us through what you do? Um, well... Without, going, uh, without saying exact numbers, I'm sorry for the background noise anyway. Um, so basically, I would say I co-own and manage a few people and a few people's discords. So what that entails is finding moderation for the discords, mm-hmm. making sure the discord runs smoothly, making sure nobody breaks any rules inside the discords, yeah. etc. But what this does is it allows a community to grow. And the best part about this is when you have lots of people in a community, you'll have people who want to advertise their communities into your community. And this is where... I created a sort of a business model where people would pay money to make an advertisement on our server and from there members would join from our server into their server but we'd get a part of revenue from that and so that's how I sort of made money through Discord. Sounds like slavery. Yeah, <laughs> slavery. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't see where... I, I, I was doing this all by myself. I don't know, see how this is... Um... <laughs> Toby, no. don't lie about the people in your basement. So, so um, you you really have like monopolized like a bit of a Discord server. So you, you're earning a bit from that. Cause no, I know on the side you like I think you have a co-own or own a uh, Minecraft server. And oh yes. I know you like charge money for like like pickaxes or something, but <laughs> not not knocking it. He charges fifty pound for a pickaxe and people right, buy it. Right, no, right, you right. no, you do not. No, you do. Listen, Toby, explain it, please. Right. So in the Minecraft server. Actually, in theory, so I've sort of created a loophole. So when you make a Minecraft server, Minecraft says you're not allowed to sell items that will give you an advantage. Um, Like, you can't sell virtual items that will give you an advantage over players, but you can sell cosmetic items. But here's the loophole. This server was made private for only the community. So that means I could create this shop for these players, for these people joining and they would they could buy ranks up to the price of 50 60 pounds and they some people did buy them some people have bought them and they'd give them armor tools pickaxes that with like crazy enchantments on them and they bought them i wouldn't but if what's they the want to charge get an edge um what's the most stuff charge the most for something is 75 pounds <sighs> The what? cheapest is one pound fifty. They It's the idea of having power yeah. over other people and having better items than them, which is what but makes them break. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This that... is some weird ass capitalist <laughs> utopia shit. Right? Yeah, marketing. You, you, marketing. You, you're marketing a Minecraft server, and you've earned money from people. Like, do these people like understand how money works, and they're not like they're not like ten or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some yeah, of them are. The amount quite of old. credit cards that you probably <laughs> destroyed. No, no, no. Seventy-five no. quid. Has anyone bought the seventy-five quid options? No, the most expensive, the most money someone spent was sixty. Okay, that that's still bad. That is still for, for Minecraft. Like you, you could buy around three copies for in that. The Minecraft. You could buy like, Minecraft copies for the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some people, some people just want to get that advantage over other people. So you've been doing that during lockdown. You've earned a bit from that. Yeah. But the, mm-hmm. I have noticed something from you. So Toby ends a TikTok, and during lockdown, Toby changed his TikTok from this <laughs> jokey thing to this. Hi guys, Toby Chest here. This is how I made three grand when I was age ten. Like he's turned t- mm-hmm. this, this like proper marketing business um, guy. Is there any reason you've done that? Because the the, the is just bored of being like you know the the funny TikTok edgy kid. I think my content before this whole thing was just random. I had no ideas. I was just trying to look at the latest trends and follow them. But I thought I I have a passion of you know marketing, making this money, doing this. So I was like, why not share my passion on TikTok? 
because I already had a large following at the time, and I was just like, why not? Why not just do that? So I changed my content up, and people seem to like it. Actually, recently your views have dropped from around fifty-five thousand <laughs> to two K views. I have not uploaded a. Not so I, I'll I'll explain. So this happened because on TikTok. The only way you can get views, consistent views, is also consistency. Yeah. So if you post consistently once a day, uh, three, four times a week, then what this means is that you'll get those constant people coming back and watching your videos. But if you take a long break, such as I did, I took around a two, three month break. Yeah, it was a massive gap in the videos. Like there was definitely... And what this did, yeah, what this did is it made it basically the algorithm works is the more people view view your videos the more they'll just keep viewing your videos so if i didn't post anything they wouldn't the tiktok wouldn't want to show my videos to my followers which is sort of annoying but i soon might start posting regularly again to try and build up that viewership hopefully because, i hope so um, that's a very um viewers a friend jack ward bring in lots of money. <laughs> yeah jack ward he does like film funny tiktoks he was on a few weeks ago i linked his tiktok he's like a film he's he's pretentious but we like him so yeah. um toby i think he's the next elon musk i no, no no i reckon toby's the next elon musk he's got some big things have you done any investing <laughs> have you done any investing over this time investing. um oh actually yeah current recently anyway um so this also links in with my tiktok so uh, one of my things that I promoted on my TikTok was a site called CryptoTap. I'm not going to go very into it, but it allows people to mine Bitcoin from their computers, stuff like that. And what this does is it also gives me a percentage of what they mine because they signed up using my link. So this is called affiliate marketing. So <laughs> do, you, what, do, you, do you want to speak to Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to comprehend here. Some people okay. call you a, a scam. Is that statement a true? Scam. How do you mine Bitcoin off a computer? I don't understand. So, with your Minecraft so, pickaxe, you buy for 60 quid off a server, <laughs> get up, grow up. <laughs> what Bitcoin like, mining like, is? Do you, do you use the pickaxe in your Minecraft? It's <laughs> <laughs> um, simple. I could try to sum it down in a sentence or two. Go on. Uh, your computer power, your computer uses power to solve complex algorithms, which gives you a reward for doing it. Ah, so... Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. Cause <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> so, so, yeah, go on. Before we get into all this corona shit and lockdown, before we get into mm -hmm. all this lockdown bit, it's going to be a bit of a bigger segment. I want to yeah. say one, two words, and I want, yeah. I want you to explain it to me about what happened with it. Because it was pre lockdown, but I would like to know about it. Galactic's clothing. <laughs> oh, of course. So, so um, what happened? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? So, Toby had a clothing brand um, called Galactic's. I had an idea. What, yes. <laughs> what what happened with the brand? Like, what did it just fall free? Did not do it anymore? Because I'm on the Instagram um, right now, and she's you know rest in peace. Yeah, I sort of this sort of went along with the change of my Insta, uh, change of my TikTok, changing up the content. I sort of thought this really doesn't resemble me <laughs> at all. <Yeah. laughs> so why have I got it going? Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically why I stopped it. It just didn't interest me anymore. I didn't have the passion. Do you still have it. any galactic clothing right now? I do have some in my wardrobe, yes. <laughs> okay, that's, 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 I'm glad to know Galactic <laughs> somewhat exists now. So, it lives on. the bit everyone's looking forward to. So, some backstory here. Before lockdown, before Corona, Toby had Snapchat stories where yes. he would literally pretty much predict what would happen. You know, he'd follow analytics uh -huh. and shit. And everyone <laughs> would, like, discuss Toby's, like, what his opinions of it was. So, Corona, mm -hmm. if you were the government, what would you yes. be doing right now? Well, if I was the government, what would I be in now, or what would I have done? From the beginning, and from, from the, the situation. Yes. From two, okay, two so... Topics. Oh, that's this, this is a tough one. So, obviously, from the start, um, I was watching the numbers since early January, and I noticed the trend in China. How... It, well, it's a tough to topic about China, I don't want to go into it, but... It's speculated that they lied a lot about their numbers. But... From the from the graph at China, we can see how rapidly spread it was going through. It was it was going up two, five, ten, twenty, fifty numbers were rapidly rising. So I knew if this were to happen in the UK, the same thing would happen obviously in China because it's the it's the same virus. So as I noticed, new cases were coming out, and then we got our first confirmed death. 
and I actually remember I was sitting in my IT class discussing this with everyone. <laughs> and I stated, if we don't lock down within the next two weeks, like China did, we, we will have a massive outbreak. We're talking bigger than China, bigger than all these places. And what we saw was two weeks later, we were at like a thousand cases a day, which was super high yeah. at the time. And yeah, that's not massive. Like, I don't have it. See, <laughs> the problem was that it could have been a lot less cases in the day if the government would have thought something of it. That's the problem. We, It's, it's, it's like the USA... Uh, Donald Trump was like, oh yeah, this virus will just go away. We've only got a few cases. It won't do anything. And that's what we thought in the UK too. We're like, oh, no, it's like a few I don't reckon because everyone in the UK actually did think something. I think everyone in the UK tried. Mm. Mm. Um, at the beginning, no, I wouldn't say so. Because they, they, they didn't think about how extreme it'd go. Just the measures it'll force us into. But say a month so this is going into february so february march so when did we go into lockdown was it march it was march 21st i think or 20th march yep. yeah so we're watching the numbers rapidly go up near the end of february and this is when i would have i would have went into lockdown but the problem with lockdown is obviously the economic situation how do you balance closing down everything not letting people afford stuff compared to saving lives stopping this yeah. virus so it's it's a very tough situation it's a delicate understand. balance you have to somewhat like measure out mm -hmm. it's very very it's freaking more i mean <laughs> the government more care for more care for i i reckon the government care for economy more than the people the way they handle the situation that, that's what i personally yeah, think yeah, the, the government is very economy forward yeah um, it's, no, I'd say the US was more economy forward than us because we went into an actual lockdown. Like, we shut down everything. The US did, yeah. Well, so, the US, some particular states did, but yeah. I'm glad to hear that from you for that, um, that end. But do you think the Labour Party or any other party would have handled it better? Um, they say they would, obviously. Who wouldn't? Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want to say they would handle it? But I would say they wouldn't have handled it better because um, they would... Ha they're saying how they want to shut everything down, protect lives, blah, blah, blah. But the problem is, is that they will realize that the economy is such a big d deal that they will have to basically do exactly what our government did, was find a way to Bounce allow the, uh, yeah. the economy to move on. So they, it's it's hard. This this thing hit like this. Like, it just hit, it hit in a few weeks. Bang, everything just shut down life just went upside down that was the problem we weren't prepared for anything like this that's Fair. why i think everyone's opinion would have been basically near the same no yeah it's a it's very like it, it's it's not a broad spectrum for opinion basically it's very similar mm -hmm. but the, the the mix of economy and saving lives i think i think the tory party could have got it a bit better but i don't think oh, yeah. every party saying oh i could have done better actually could have done better it was yeah, an unseen it's an unseen circumstance <laughs> but i feel the tory party are definitely at fault for some of the things they've done but it could yeah. have been dealt a lot better than it actually has been and that's Definitely. what that's why I say moving in towards the future. Do you think we're gonna get more lockdown restrictions after this? Because the because the vaccines are revealed. Um, I know a bunch of people are hesitant against it for religious views and um, views against vaccines, some like that. So do you think do you think um the next four months? How do you reckon the UK government will be? Ooh, the next four months. So currently we are looking at around twenty thousand cases a day, with an average of about four hundred to five hundred. Better than twenty one thousand. <laughs> I mean, true, but here's the problem. We we currently said we're going out of lockdown within the next what, few days, right? Mm -hmm. And we still have these very high numbers. And that's the problem. The numbers haven't dipped low enough for this lockdown to, start to end. Although we say we're going into tier one, tier two, tier three, whatever. But the problem is, is that these, that... They didn't work as well as they, they planned it to be. Um, places are still open. You can go in. You can do this. You can do that. You can go to what what's open restaurants. You can go and uh, sit right next to someone and cough on someone. Yeah, <laughs> you know, college school. You can do an exam. This is the, yeah. As well as uh, actually, Sky News <clears throat> put out an article saying that uh, uh, 
secondary schools was the second most common place to get corona. What was first? Uh, first was supermarkets. Damn. Oh, yeah, obviously. Because everyone, everyone goes, yeah. Everyone it's the, it's the central place to go to. Um, and then third place was primary schools. So you can see how schools are still bad. Um, but they won't do anything about schools because they say education is obviously... Yeah. They can't afford to do this again. Do you think schools but, should shut down? Do I think they should be? Yeah, do you think they should no. be? No. Do I want them? Yes, of course, but uh, <laughs> um, I don't think they, well, it's it's a hard one because they're passing, as, as you can see, even in our college, people are, more. you'll see more people off in lessons more and more. Yeah. I don't know if you'll notice it, but I more people. I definitely noticed that. Yeah, um, and this will carry on, this will just keep carrying on and carrying on until eventually there's only like half the class left. And that's the problem, that's what will happen and it, something will happen it will just spread throughout the college that, that's my that's my guess that's your guess so i'm gonna leave Wait, it... what about vaccine though? vaccine oh vaccine oh yeah vaccine didn't mention that oh, yeah, so that. the thing that i think with the vaccine is that number one it doesn't stop you from getting it just fatal it just it stops you from yeah it, it doesn't stop you but it gives you a low, lower less chance of dying from it through mostly lung conditions but the problem is, is obviously if you can get it, you can still pass it on. And that's the problem. Will we have enough vaccines to give it to everyone? Will we have enough time to give no. it to everyone before it passes on? Exactly. Will the government put enough money towards this? Probably not. Um, and what else? Yeah, as well as just people who don't want the vaccine are like, oh, the government are putting this inside of me. Oh, no, I'm going to die. <laughs> that sort of stuff. So... I, I, I'm glad you, I've had your views on there. I'm going to wrap up soon. Connor, um, you've been a good mediator. Um, I don't want to ask you anything because you'll say chef or something like that. Um, so, Toby, you've got any yes. messages or anything? Um, have I got any messages? Or anything um, you want to say in the end for a wrap up? I'm, I'm linking all your chef, socials. Chef. So yes, chef. Um, so I live stream on Twitch. Um, I'm going to start live streaming more. Hit affiliate if you want to ever catch up on some live streams. I'll talk Ninja. about anything. I'm basically ninja now, exactly. Yeah, he's ninja. Um, and get ready for some new TikToks coming soon. <laughs> he also does lo-fi beats. Yeah, I'm also working on some music too, so if you want to hear some of my music, that'll be in my YouTube. Wait, take that uh, part of reviews? Take that reviews, <laughs> yeah. do you want me to? Be like, <laughs> very good band, very, very, very just, good. Just wait until I've put out a few more. Then I'll, I'll definitely like give it a check. Abbey Road. <laughs> I'll definitely give it a check out so I've been James Jump otherwise known as Tape Direct Reviews don't forget to like subscribe I'll see you all in the next episode